This is part of my home cluster of chatterboxes that I have. I'm going to show this new version of the chatterbox node. It's just a node based on the LilyGo T-Beam, but I've added a human presence sensor. So it uses Doppler to sense if there are people around. It also senses if it moves. Really, if anything's moving around it, it's going to notice that, even if it's through thin walls and things like that. If you have one of these in your cluster, you can set it up to notify you if it notices things. You can set it to passively just notice what's around and then you query it to ask. Or you don't have to do this, but you can add a relay, which I've got on this one, so that uh, you can tell it if you notice something, then close the circuit, which might turn on a light or alarm or, or whatever. But you don't have to have that. Uh, so I'm going to give a demonstration of this thing notifying me when it sees motion. 45, there it is. Okay, so it shows up as a motion sensor now that, that I've added that sensor to it. Okay, so I'm going to tell it, notify me if there's motion, okay? Yep. Uh, yeah, so, motion detected. This is a simple circuit I've set up for testing my relay and proximity sensor. All I have here is a battery, something to regulate the voltage down to 5 volts, and a high voltage generator to make a spark that I can hear and see. Now the chatterbox is in the middle of the circuit, so it is able to control whether the current's going to flow or not. Okay, so I'm going to tell it switch on for five seconds and there it goes the other thing i'm going to do is tell the chatterbox node i'm going to tell it to um if there's motion trip the relay I'm going to turn on notification as well. Okay, so I'm going to tell it also to notify me of motion. Okay, so it did trip the uh, close the circuit, and I got a notification that motion was detected.